Oh, uh, this is calf update here. They're two weeks old. Eating their starter. Most of them. They're uh, doing what I ask of them. They're staying alive. That's all you can hope for most of the time. Two weeks on Friday. They were two days old when I got them. This is sticky here. Yeah, they're uh, doing pretty good. There isn't much ammonia in the barn. The door's open. Been pretty. Hasn't been very windy, so I'm not running my uh, tube for my fresh air. <clears throat> this is what the calf smells down here. What he what he breathes is in this area right here. So if you raise them in the barn, it's something to keep in mind. You want this to be comfortable down here. And smell and everything. So, um, it's going to get pretty warm in the next couple of days. Supposed to get an inch of rain. Um, they said an inch of rain. Might get a little sleep, freezing rain. Regardless of what we get. Going to be a cold rain. <clears throat> Seems like we get those in February. We get heavy cold rain, and it's uh, pretty hard on the cows and the, the newborn calves. Seems like every time a cow has a calf out in the pasture, she has it. Next to a creek, the first thing it does is walk right into the creek. 35 degrees and raining. <clears throat> of course, he has it right next to the round bell feeder, and he gets stuck in the mud. It uh, seems like that's what happens, and we're going to try to get away from that this year. And We're calving in this barn, and there's the, <clears throat> the black barn over here where we had the feeder calves. Got a fresh load of sawdust in there the other day. Uh, so everything is, uh, everything's had sky boss and two rounds of it. We'll see how it goes. Any day now. Got a lot of cows getting close. These calves are getting a handful of starter in the morning and in the evening. Along with, um, we're getting over two quarts of milk and over, getting close to 11 ounces of powder in it. Pretty soon they'll be getting five pints. I think that's what it is. Uh, yeah, five pints. Uh, that's per feeding. Working them up. Kind of muddy around here. I'm going to try to get my GoPro up and going. Now that I've got my axes about wrapped up, been working on those pretty much non-stop. Got all my taxes all finished up. So, uh, we'll see. We'll 
Won't be long, we'll be spraying wheat for the first time. Here they are, they're out of feed and hay. We won't have that problem when we get the steer stuffer in here. I hope. And here's the wean calves. Uh, here's bony and here's bony. And there's the rest of the bony ones. So, uh, this is the only group that's doing well and the new group's doing well. This group here is just uh, pretty shoddy. But, oh well. Part of it. This group ain't doing too bad, I guess. But, it won't be long. Uh, another 10 days or two weeks. And we're getting dehorned and castrated this weekend, so I'm not going to change any feed rations to them until after they get over that. Um, I gotta get a bigger water trough. So I can keep it full. Getting to be pretty good size. Whenever I uh, castrate them, that'll knock a little, a little bit of growth off of them. Some of the cows here. Uh, you can see the other cows that were out on pasture all winter eating round bells are in that barn. That's what they're going to calve. We're going to feed these in two groups, just like we do the calves. We're going to group in, let them eat 12 hours, turn them out, let them group in, let them eat 12 hours. Most of them are pretty gentle. Most of them. Good there looks like she's gonna have twins fast for this. Big as a house. <clears throat> this one here, she's a little nutty. She's a good cow, raises a good calf. Won't be long, she'll be having her calf. And she's been, she's probably gonna be first. I'm just guessing. <clears throat> she's got some milk running out of her right now. She's getting real close. And here, these are some of the older cows. You notice some of these cows got yellow tags and some of them got white tags. The uh, yellow tags are one we kept out of our bull. We still have him. He's pretty old. He's like seven, let's see, seven years old. Uh, eight years old. 
think. Seven or eight years old. So we know they're related to him. They came out of him. So we want to separate them. And we put these in a pasture lot. You can use the big bull to, or the old bull to breed these older cows. And we know we're not cross, crossing anything up. Just by looking at them, you don't have to go back and look at the paperwork. Uh, double ear tag, everything. In case there was a tag, you know what number it is. Usually works. But uh, there's a little update that's going on around here. Not much. Same old, same old. Thanks for watching.